The name Gabriel resonates with the Jewish and Christian faiths, as he is mentioned numerous times in the Bible. As one of the three archangels mentioned in Scripture, Gabriel is known for his role as the angel of mercy and consolation, as well as the angel of the power of God. He is also associated with the prophecy of the coming of Christ and the foretelling of the birth of John the Baptist and Jesus Christ. In this lesson, we will delve deeper into the significance of Saint Gabriel in Jewish and Christian traditions and explore his role as an angelic messenger of God. There are only four recorded appearances of Gabriel. In the book of Daniel, he explains that the vision of the horned ram is a sign of the Persian Empire's destruction by Alexander the Great, after which the kingdom will be divided among his generals. One of these generals will give rise to Antiochus Epiphanes. In Daniel chapter 9, Gabriel appears to Daniel after he prays for Israel. Gabriel communicates the mysterious prophecy of the 70 weeks of years before Christ's coming. In Daniel chapter 10, it is unclear whether the angel is Gabriel, but we can apply the marvelous description in verses 5 and 6 to him. In the New Testament, Gabriel tells Zachary about the birth of the precursor and informs Mary about the birth of the Savior. Gabriel is known in Christian tradition as the angel of mercy, while Michael is associated with judgment. However, Gabriel is also referred to as the angel of the power of God, as evidenced by the frequent use of words such as great, might, power, and strength in biblical passages related to him. Overall, Gabriel is seen as an angel of both incarnation and consolation. In Jewish tradition, Gabriel is the angel of judgment, while Michael is the angel of mercy. They associate Gabriel with the destruction of Sodom and the army of Sennacherib, as well as the angel who buried Moses and marked the figure Tau on the foreheads of the elect, Ezekiel 9, 4. The Jewish literature of later times believed that the names of angels had a special power. The British Museum has some bowls with inscriptions in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Syriac languages that contain incantations with the names of Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. These bowls were discovered at Hilla, the location of Babylon, and serve as an intriguing artifact of the Jewish captivity. These same names appear in Christian literature outside of the Bible, such as Enoch and the Apocalypse of the Blessed Virgin. Christian tradition believes that Gabriel appeared to St. Joseph and the shepherds, even though the New Testament only mentions him twice. Additionally, believers think that St. Gabriel also strengthened our Lord in the garden. While Gabriel is usually called an archangel, some interpret the words of St. Raphael and Gabriel as an indication of their high rank among God's messengers. However, according to Thomas Aquinas, this refers to their position as the highest of God's messengers, not as placing them among the highest rank, seraphim and cherubim. In summary, Gabriel is a significant figure in Christian and Jewish traditions associated with mercy, power, and judgment. While only appearing a few times in the Bible, Gabriel is believed to have played a role in several important events, including communicating prophecies to Daniel and announcing the births of John the Baptist and Jesus to Zachary and Mary. The power of angels' names is also recognized in both traditions, as seen in ancient chants and other non-biblical writings. Despite the debate surrounding Gabriel's exact rank among angels, his importance as a messenger of God remains clear. And that was Archangel Gabriel in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever.